them. In fact, the Minister of Labor and Employment is stating that lottery has actually helped um, unemployment in Nigeria. He's stating, and I quote, that lottery agencies in the country are helping to reduce unemployment among youths, insisting that lottery is a major factor in the growth of developed countries. He spoke at the Union, National Union of Lottery Agents and Employees lecture in Asaba Delta State, and he said that lottery was a good way to increase internally generated revenue in any growing economy. Chukudi, what do we make of this statement? Well, the truth is, let us be factual. It's a good way to encourage you know, the growth of the IGR. But why is there a problem? There is a problem because when we talk about employment and talk about underemployment and talk about unemployment, and look at Nigeria's population demographics, those who are worst hit are people who are, you know, the youth. Now, as an able-bodied Nigerian, whether you're able-bodied or not, as somebody who has the capacity to add value to society, and contribute your quota to nation building and national development, you should not channel your intelligence into go-go, over 2.5, win or draw, or show number, enugu, babajebu, eije, eoje. See what these, polit these politicians have reduced us to. This is, you see, when you come out and try to make excuses, you're wasting time. Remember that I acknowledge that, yes, it's a means of, you know, increasing the IGR, because capitalists are just there to make profit. But even with the IGL that you increase, has he added any value to Nigerian society? So because a lot of Nigerian youth now resort to Baba Jebu and all the, you know, sure predictions, we should fold our arms and disappoint the future of this country. Those things have their advantages, but they also have their disadvantages. Chukudu. They will never have advantages when we look at Nigeria's exactly. population demographics. So when they're Over 60% at... of Nigeria's population and it's more than 10 million people are 30 years and under. So you say because of, you know, we are dealing with unemployment, somebody that has acquired the necessary skill set that went to a higher institution of learning, for example, because you don't create an enabling environment that will have the person gainfully employed, should resort to marking, making permutation. Ah, Chelsea yeah, beat Mayu. Mayu beat Chelsea. Arsenal and Chelsea play go-go. What that does at the end of the day is helping people looking for quickest ways, quick ways to make money, short ways to make money. We find a lot of people having gambling and gambling addictions because of that. And at the end of the day, it's not really the kind of escape that we want from unemployment in Nigeria. We want to focus on human capital development, teaching people integrity, hard work. And no human capital skill. development has nothing to do with Baba Jebu or short bet predictions. But what we must do, you know, I always insist that, you know, I acknowledged mm. that he has a valid point. Why? Because these people that come to establish this business are making money. They also pay taxes to the government. The Honorable Minister is speaking as somebody who is an interest or who has an interest in the situation. But we are looking at the population of Nigeria. Millions of unemployed Nigerian youths resorting to this and are coming out to justify to say it has... To a considerable degree, like you said, people are making quick bucks of it. But when we talk about employment of people who have acquired the necessary skill set, it shouldn't be Baba Jebu. If not no. for the issues of Baba Jebu, then we'll be, that's why people now had a lot of them fell prey to MMM and all that. Because mm. you see, people are looking for sure fire. And aside from that, that is why people people try to justify, even though it's wrong and there's no justification for also Yahoo Yahoo. But because look, the person tells you there's a lot of economic degradation and he's using his intelligence to scam other people. So we shouldn't fairness, be encouraging such statements. In all fairness, though, I, I, I'm not sure if this report is so much about encouraging people to take place in lottery games, but more about the employment the lottery companies are involved in. I think he's speaking about Keynesian economics here because you're employing people into a system. You're also encouraging people to spend. Let's say you get a lottery card, okay? But let's say 10 naira or 50, okay, let's say 150 naira. Okay, you get a lottery card for 150 naira with the chance of winning a certain amount. Everybody that's paying 150 naira is generating something into the economy. So I would say it's a way to diversify the economy, the economy, but I do agree with you. Into the economy. And not to for the... Who's in Interest. Exactly. That is there. Where, that's Please, where the problem these lies. These people, yeah. do they employ more people than our banks? No, no, or no the way. No what I am way. saying is, mm. you have people that are able-bodied, that can add value to society. All these people need is an enabling environment. Even if you're, even if what you do mm. is you're a stylist, why do we have a lot of young people riding um, motorcycle? I'm not saying it's not your personal decision to say you want to ride motorcycle. Mm. But it is because you feel when you do this, you make money. And at the end of the day, you take your profit to go and pay EJ, yeah. EJ, and think that we're making profit. Absolutely. This man is a doctor. Mm -hmm. Dr. Chris Ngige. Yeah. He's a medical doctor. 
And our Nigerian doctors are leaving the country in droves. What has he done? Or what have they done? Mm. And he's coming to tell us. So you were a doctor that doesn't have anything to do now. All should right, go and be you... playing, using syringe to and calculate. And also, to be fair, a Minister of Labour and Employment, it is a bit mind-boggling. I was just trying to understand exactly what he means in terms of diversifying um, the economy. Wh wh but... Why, if why I... this is problematic is because he emphasized that it is creating jobs for Nigeria's teeming unemployed youths. All right, we'll and come this back is to not this what people who are able should This is not the conversation about. that we can wrap up today, apparently. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.